This person is a tall man. Um, he has extensive cybernetic implants in his head that all trail back behind him like dreadlocks. Very long. Um, he has no hair. He's bald and has this these these dreadlocks, metal dreadlocks, like coming out of his skull. And uh, he also has um, uh, other implants that at the moment are not very clear. He is wearing, you would think, a business outfit, like an American politician or businessman. But this one has more elaborate clothing, so it almost looks priestly. It's still the business trousers. He is not wearing a priest's cassock. But he is, but it has more of a priestly look with two long panels coming down over the shoulders down to his past his waist. And there is a very clearly um, a, a, a symbol on his high on his chest. And it has it, it's, a, it's a stylized B. And um, not the animal, the, the letter. And mm. he. Uh, is, is is extremely, I mean, as soon as he appears, you know, everybody kind of does a quick reaction, you know, that, that he's here. Um, some people had some very good listening roles, which are still active. And those listening roles instantly pick up that this man's name is Krog. And he is the prime minister. And he is... Uh, uh, going to scold everybody and very, um, very courteously, you know, gesture for Alida to come into the building. Um, she's going to give one last look over her shoulder, which you can see when she's going in, which is kind of this smile, you know, fuck you, look to everybody <laughs> who stopped her. Um, but the uh, but Krog is looking almost more nervous than anything. I mean, he's kind of no, no. He's once he does all this, he's like, come on, come on, you know, to to bring her in. Um, it was perhaps a little too. Public. She's uh, she's so uh, she's she's sleeping with the prime minister. This. Mm hmm. Max. Margaret and I ask uh, Nathan. Uh, could you sense if there were people with powers? If I you can, can, we can t try to sense if there are people with powers inside, and see if, because if if we if there are people inside with powers, there might be a higher risk for us. But if you check, the with just your power, we, we we can we can know how dangerous it is, because I think it's very important to get in there. The, but there's a good is, check if we check with you first, then we might, the, we might go in. The problem with using power is if anyone detects. Right, but there are powers power, and there are there are powers and talents, okay? Talents okay. don't require you to drain the host. And you might I, I think everybody should review what their talents can do as opposed to their powers. For example, um Nian Zhu's ability to just leave his body and go walking around in ghostly form he that's not a power that's a talent and does that per, does that mean also that it's not detectable i would not say it's not detectable it is not as obvious as a power i because... can detect them i mean if you go outside of your body an esper can detect the your body, or your spectral body, I think. Well, what it says is you can see Ubis when they are in ghost form. That's true. Um, you can sense the presence of psychics who are remotely viewing your area. And um, and then, for but that's just observing. You would have to use uh, skills, perhaps. Um, yeah. And then, on the other hand, if somebody uses a power or a psychotronic device, then you will be alerted almost like an alarm in your head. Um, that's an Esper situation. Uh, you are correct that there are plenty of, if anybody has Esper abilities, 
and is, for example, working in surveillance of some kind, then they pro then they will be able to see the out of body. They will see the ubi ghost. So it's a question so, of whether you want to try it or not. We will be caught, and we come back to the discussion we had before with Claire. Mm -hmm. I want to say something. Claire wants to hear uh, Nadia's opinion. She still thinks this is completely idiotic to try to figure out. I get the point uh, that uh, if we leave now, they don't know what that we know stuff. Yes. So I get that it's kind of maybe not important. We have so much. Uh, <clears throat> uh, now, uh, well, I just one one question, like not. Did we see the prime minister go out and let her in? Oh yes. So they went back in. Yes. They went back in. So okay. Correct. That that means that if we're going to do something, I think the the only reasonable thing to do if we're going to do anything is to use the that I leave my leave the body and go in and, and take a peek and, and try to, to like catch as much as possible what they're saying and, and kind of just eavesdrop. That's that's what I'm thinking. And if <clears throat> if I'm detected I will go back and then we will go back to to that, but that, then we spoil this body. We will yeah. never be able to use it again. And they will know. They will know we were here. Yes. And then it's too... Uh, it's uh, believe me, high security oh, means okay. yeah. that yeah. they can detect you are, you are, everything uh, they want. You're absolutely right. Uh, so, so um, and that means uh, that going back now will also spoil the body. I thought yeah. of us we walking can... away from here somewhere where, she, where we can leave her kind of safe all day if we're gonna leave her we should go back to the work because she is supposed to be at work but uh, do, do we know what happens to the body do they kind of re remember what we have done to them that's a very good question we have to chance that we don't know i think <laughs> this is as you said that this is what happens when your science becomes applied before the theory is in good shape I think it's the perfect time to leave the body is right before the appointment mm. because then someone should check and they think she's crazy maybe do you want or to go hug? do you want to go back to her work and then jump away at a certain time is that the plan what did Nathan Nathan want to say something <laughs> yeah uh, I'm a psychiatrist. Yes. I, I'm pretty sure I have a really good idea of how to make her completely crazy before we go away. So she's arrested or something else and we are fine. Are you sure that's... But I thought you guys wanted to preserve her we as a viable it. host for later. But that won't work if she's been designated now. insane, especially in a culture like this, one. imagine. We have the other lady that... Is sleeping with the prime minister. We can jump on her or the prime minister. It's much better targets. Yeah, but she we won't don't know her. Go next. She will never be able to do that. Yeah, yeah but the, the 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 girl that's sleeping with the prime minister, she's too good. People will know, she's not herself. I think there's a lot of uh, analysis paralysis right now. We don't have, I mean, there, there we don't have an, enough information to make a good decision. That, that is, an, uh, well, and so, uh, but we have a, a really, I mean, the the most interesting thing that we have considered right now is that it's not if we're going to spy on this prime minister or not. It's how, what are we going to do with this body if we go back? Will we be exposed or will we not be exposed? This is something, this is a much more important decision than spying on the prime minister or not, I think. Because uh, if we have that clear or we have kind of a plan for that, then we can move on and say what we're supposed to do. Because that, no matter what we do, that's inevitable. 
Max. We have one suggestion oh, from Albert, yeah. and that's making her insane. And then it's kind of disposing of her. And do we have any other? And Max, uh, what if, did you want to say? If, if we just leave her at work before her appointment, if she remember, then they think she's crazy, and then we will know. I think if we don't do anything, don't make her crazy. Maybe she sounds crazy. And we, we will we know have, we have when, we go, when we go back. Max? What if, if, what if let we Max try talk. To, yeah. what, if we, <laughs> what if we try to switch party? Then we see if she's crazy or not. Oh. If we try to switch, we cannot be not here. We do it in another place where we are safe. Switch when we are on. safely with, to another and see what happens. Yes, and on, good idea. No other other person. Person. That, yeah, that, I like, I like it. that. <laughs> I like that. With, with a really low status person that has no far away. That has no no like that was no not important. <gasps> I think lab. we should do that. The lab, or or I yeah, but where somewhere we can find a kind of a really low life. Nathan. So if anything happens, we can just kill her and see what happens. <laughs> what a brute! <laughs> yeah. I I don't. Aren't like you this Aren't you the establishment member? Aren't you the law-abiding citizen of the of the five yeah, of yeah. you? <laughs> no, I'm a psychiatrist that thinks about the good of humanity. All right. Yeah, but right. the problem is, if yeah. he switches to I'm a low now. being, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm they up. can't kill her. Yeah. Okay, well, guys. We Look. might kill her with ours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, let's. Uh, Ola is right, though, or rather, Nyansu is right that we're going to go around forever. So, Helma, last person, and then I'm going to ask Ola what Nyansu does. Yeah. So, the plan is to leave her, go into another body, and then leave Observe. this place as soon as possible. That's the plan I heard, yeah. As soon as we know, we leave. Okay. I think that's in really uh, for, for, for future travel. So what I'm doing now is uh, my plan is to um, because we are in the most like the most high class area of the whole town, basically. So there, there's not that much low life here. So we really need to move away from here. A long, long way from here to, to come to a place where we can like find someone that is a, a low life. Or, well, given your direction finding roles and your orienting yourselves, I think that's not going to be very hard. Um, well, and so I want to know kind of what you mean, uh, or, a, or a let, let's put it differently. Or... Right up, right now, you're at the top of a hill. And that hill is full of streets and buildings. So yes. if you take the road, the main road, out of this area, it will go down the hill. And there are several, it will take a little while before you get to the river. But you will be going past um, several major government-style buildings. And then you will be into more of a living district. But you will still be on this side of the river on the on the hill. What I'm specifically looking for is some kind of like a, some uh, um, a shoe polisher. Do you understand? Some someone that is close to me, right. that, but and and doing something casual that they probably would be doing. Um, something that, similar to that. Okay, yeah. I can tell you exactly. But uh, while I am about to tell you, uh, Helma, what did you want to say? When uh, when Yansu says shoe polish, and I, I, um, Claire reminds us, do we have those shoes with us? We can try to find a shoemaker. Yes. The there must be some kind of business district when we go down. Let's try to find it. 